Hi friends, something new got delivered to the Sky Islands Ranch and I'm excited to open it up and see what we got. I know what we got. Something I've been wanting for a long, long time. And finally, one of the companies that make one of the better ones contacted me, asked me if I wanted to try one out. And boy, do I want to try one out. This is going to be a real bonus in my RV life for mosquito abatement and camping and cooking outdoors. This is a gazebo tent, one of those that's really easy to set up and take down. Happy to try this one. We'll take it out in the yard and set it up. Did you notice the case matches my motor home? Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I didn't set this up yesterday because the wind was blowing. It came up very strong. And uh, it's my first time setting this up. I didn't think it would be a good idea to do it in a wind with 30 mile an hour gusts. Um, this is my first time. Now I've watched other reviews and seen people set this up in less than a minute time themselves but uh, it's my first time and it's my first time opening the bag here uh, unlike some of the other brands Vivor sends the covers for the windows with it as I said it might take me a little longer than a minute since it's my first time. These would be the poles for the door. Ah, stakes. I'm gonna, all, the, all the reviews say it's okay in the wind, but um, that's when it's set up and staked down. One side. Two sides. Three sides. Four sides. Okay, I stuck a stake in that side and a stake in that side. Try this again using my good arm. I didn't go get a hammer to pound the stakes in. Whoa! Dynamite! Vivor! So, I went and got a hammer to pound the stakes in better. The wind is coming up. I hear it in the trees. We'll probably get a pretty good wind test today. Maybe I'll zip that up to make sure that I don't put a stake in too far away. The canvas grommeted Stake holes look very good, double stitched. My boating day's coming in handy here. I'm tying a bowline, which never gets tight. Easy to untie, we use it for the anchor when it goes ashore. Now there's a place on 
every one of the walls. Let's go inside. Holes fit together with a plastic band in them. Got a rubber thing on the bottom there. And on the top also. Again, looks to be stitched very well. Sticking it in the loop on the bottom. See if I get any better with practice. I'm going to put it in the bottom first this time. So my 80 year old back doesn't have to bend over so much. That went better. Uh oh, somebody threw a ball at me. Who's messing with me? Huh? Oh, good catch! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah, what are we doing next? Uh, I guess we're gonna go and read some more of the literature so we can talk about this looking a, as good as it looks. So far, so good. Oh, there goes the ball humming past me again. Well, let's put one of the things on. I think I said before that these things are included, unlike some of the other brands, which uh, cost a lot of extra money. Uh, what do we got here? We got a rain flap. Oh, it's Velcroed. Oh, and then the Velcro is doubled so you can put the rain flap back down to the Velcro. Hey, I'm liking this butter all the time. And that just goes on the Velcro. Well, that couldn't be much easier. The wind is coming up. I've put another uh, guy wire on that wall there. And I also put these rocks down here. Rock there, rock there. I really like that flap. That's a really good idea. Of course, the rocks don't come with it. You're going to have to camp somewhere on planet Earth. If you're at the beach, maybe you put uh, sand along there. Anyway, I really like that feature. You know that trouble I had getting the top popped up? I got so excited about just seeing it up this morning that maybe I should have read the directions. <laughs> well, the beaver tent's been up for three days and three nights, and we've had some serious wind, and it's still here. I've made a couple of discoveries, though. Let me show you something. Uh, all of the reviews I've watched about this, everybody complains about the inexpensive stakes, these little wire stakes. And here's the problem. This one here, see, it's come off of the stake. So people say, well, you gotta go buy good stakes. Uh, let me show you what I did. Over here, I double staked it. Two stakes, no more problems with it coming off, no more problems with it pulling out. I did the same thing here. Of course, I got a rock there and I did the same thing there. I counted, uh, they sent me 12 stakes. I counted a full set would be 17 of these inexpensive stakes and uh, get you some more review points. People wouldn't be having to go get better stakes. The number is 17. You're sending out 12, send out 17. Problem solved. I've got another suggestion for you. When you try to unzip the tent, and by the way, before I do this, I am loving the quality and the value of these. These things cost about half as much as another popular brand, Fever. 
And one of the reasons for that, and what I'm including, is the fact that one, two, three, four, five sides get included. Those uh, covers to make it fully enclosed instead of screened, they're included in the Viver brand. So what I was going to show you, and what I want to tell Viver is, when you try to unzip this, you have to kind of stand on the flap. So it's good that you got a flap. Here's my solution. Put one more grommet hole right there for a stake because you don't need both sides to get in and out. That's the only two things that I've been able to think that I could tell Viver how to do something better. I just figured out something else that makes me happy. You know, I said those wall covers that are included on the Viver brand, which they aren't included on other brands, and that's what makes it such a really good deal, besides the fact that they cost a little bit less anyway. There aren't five of them. There are six of them. And two of them have this window. And it rolls up and you can make it stay there. Two of them for cross ventilation. And the sixth one, if you're actually camping and you don't want people to look in your door, if it's on the door, it's got a zipper up the middle, just like this. So you get a double zipper, fully enclosed, private. Settle down, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this thing better all the time. You know, the other day when I was setting it up and it, uh, I made a lot of mistakes because I didn't read the directions, <laughs> but it didn't take me very long anyway, did it? Morning, friends. Day four. Let's go see if the Viver tent's still standing. The ranch here sure is a windy place. But not in here. Very calm in here, even though the wind is a howling. We have a hook up here for a light. This is what that one little light does with that light colored top at night. It's just that one light I showed you earlier. Pretty neat. Do this five times and it's down. Do this five times and you're ready to put the roof up. These things are steel, as are the poles, which is why it's strong. The guy wire bolts are steel. I've got these Harbor Freight folding chairs I carry in my RV. I don't know if you want this in the video or not, but happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's Harbor Freight folding chairs I carry in my RV. And uh, I majored there's room for seven of them in here. I guess eight if you put one in the doorway. But uh, I don't need more than seven friends at one time anyway. Whoa, wait. Back up. I need all 42,000 of you friends. <laughs> ah, Vivor Gazebo Screened Tent. I've had a lot of fun doing this review. You know, this company sells all over the world. They've sent me links and a discount code, of course, down below. Uh, they sent me special links for the United States, Canada, and Australia. And this company sells all kinds of things. Just uh, Google Vivar.com. You'll see a catalog that's got everything. And their motto, tough tools, half price. This is my camping tool. Thanks for being with me today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.